All those gorgeous translucent effects have a hidden cost in battery life. So I ran a head-to-head -head battery test on four MacBook Airs and I compared Sequoia to Tahoe. I have the M1 MacBook Air, M2 MacBook Air, M3 MacBook Air, and M4 MacBook Air. And I ran my own developer loop. That's what I call it. It's battery test where I simulate M1 MacBook Air lasted six and a half hours on Sequoia. M4, six hours, 13 minutes. M2, five hours, 33 minutes. And M3, that just looks really, really short and bad. Then I upgraded to Mac OS Tahoe, let it settle and repeated the test. Now let's take a look at Tahoe. Almost an hour less time we got with the M1 MacBook Air on Tahoe. About 45 minutes less with the M4 MacBook Air on Tahoe. Yeah, we're getting less usage on Tahoe. I, I hate to say I told you so, but that's what we're seeing here. I'm not happy because we all have to upgrade to this, right? Eventually, Apple kind of, you know, makes you do that. Here, the M3 and M2 kind of look normal. They're very close to each other. Four hours, 48 minutes for the M3 four hours, 24 minutes for the M2. Well, when you introduce effects like Apple's liquid glass, which adds translucency, blur, all these fancy visual layers, the system has to do more work. And each of those steps costs the CPU and GPU cycles, and that translates into battery usage. 